Hello everyone. In this video, I'd like to give you a short overview of the different delivery systems that you can use inside the simulation. When you create a new scenario, nuclear weapons can be delivered from silos, aircraft, mobile units, and submarines. And these units uh, can use um, ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and gravity bombs. A wing of ICBM silos usually consists of the silos themselves and the launch control centers. The launch control centers send the commands to the silos and the silos fire their weapons. There is a voting system implemented in the silos so that if all silos are intact, uh, the missiles will fire instantly. So if we send the command, we will see that the CBMs directly start and fly to the targets. In the United States, this voting system is implemented in such a way that if the launch command is sent from only one control center, then there will be a delay uh, before the missiles are fired so that the other control centers can intervene. So if four of the five launch control centers are destroyed, as in this case, then the command will be sent only from one launch control center and the launch will be delayed by a specific time amount. And this behavior can be parameterized. And now we can see that the missiles are fired after the specified delay time. The next delivery system is aircraft. If the aircraft receives the command to execute an attack plan, it will fly a specific route and at a specific position it will launch the cruise missiles or it will fly a specific route and it will drop gravity bombs. The next system are mobile units, which are relatively soft targets but can disperse in a crisis so that if their base is hit and destroyed, they can still fire their missiles. And the last delivery system are submarines, which will usually patrol a specific area and execute an attack plan if they receive the signal.